Blizzard always has a knack for the theatrical, especially in their flagship series. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Warcraft cinematics. The burning shadow comes to consume us all. For more gaming videos, check out our new spin-off channel, Mojo Plays, for in-depth reviews, thoughtful video essays, detailed character origins, and insightful commentary. Mojo Plays. Game smarter. For this list, we'll be looking at the best cinematics that have been featured in both the RTS Warcraft series and the Juggernaut MMO World of Warcraft. We'll be taking both the pre-rendered and in-game cinematics into account, picking what we felt had the best production value, impact, and overall narrative punch. Number 10. Battle for Azeroth trailer. World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth. My king, we have her cornered. It's been decades, uh, in-game of course, of small, thinly drawn pacts between the Horde and the Alliance, as they stood together begrudgingly to protect the place they called home. With nearly every world-ending threat seemingly defeated and hatred spurring both sides, the two factions are back into an all-out war now. For the <laughs> Seeing the freshly picked new leaders of both sides lead massive armies across the battlefield is definitely impressive, but it's the battle cry that proves to be the most exhilarating. Whether you are for the Horde or the Alliance, one thing's for certain, this will be a war to remember. Number 9. Orc Ending Warcraft 2 Tides of Darkness Yeah, yeah, we know, this ending isn't technically canonical, but it's still pretty great, right? As the Horde continues its conquest, it comes to the capital city of Lordaeron, and in a brutal fashion kills any and all denizens, with new prisoners. According to the After Battle report, the Horde has successfully taken over Azeroth, laying waste to anyone who stood in their way and claiming it for themselves. It's interesting and a bit horrifying, we'll have to admit, to think of the orcs slaughtering everyone in sight, but come on, if they really did, then we wouldn't be over five expansions into an MMO now, would we? Number 8. Thrall vs. Garrosh in a Grand Finale World of Warcraft, Warlords of Draenor You must answer for your crimes, Garrosh. The time has finally come for the Horde's greatest heroes and rivals to face off for one last time. And now it's all out Makura. Knowing Garrosh couldn't resist such a challenge, Thrall faced off against him and brought his hammer as his one weapon to the fight. It's rough seeing these once brothers at arms tear into each other, but knowing Garrosh and his crimes, it had to be done, dude. And yeah, we know, Thrall cheated by using the elements, but knowing Garrosh once nearly ended Azeroth, he couldn't exactly be left to stand trial again either. <laughs> Number 7. Warcraft 3 Trailer Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds. <laughs> and fought as we had for generations. After years of war, all the humans and orc know is fighting each other. That is, until the Burning Legion came. The trailer for Warcraft 3 not only helped set up what would be a great conclusion to the real-time strategy franchise, but expand upon the world of Azeroth itself greatly. While we wouldn't see the other factions come to light until after, it was the words spoken by the narrator that helped to symbolically hit on how small of a world we were fighting in until now, and how much bigger the universe was about to get. We stand now upon the brink of destruction for the reign of chaos. Number 6. Broken Shore. Both perspectives. World of Warcraft Legion. Victory is ours! Hold fast! Mechator! We finish this now! With yet another apocalyptic threat on the rise, the Horde and Alliance band together and assault the Broken Shore. Unfortunately, things look kinda bleak, as both sides begin to suffer heavy casualties, leading the Horde to pull back. Here comes from behind! Come on Launching! From the Alliance's perspective, they look betrayed, leading them to issue their own retreat, but giving up a major player. Their escape prevented, Varian sacrifices himself to keep his Alliance brethren alive. Both sides have lost their leaders and gained new ones both now with a heavy weight to carry on their shoulders. Number 5. Warlords of Draenor Intro World of Warcraft, Warlords of Draenor Drink, Hellstream. Claim your destiny. Time is a funny thing, and in Warcraft's case, it can be rewritten. Where the Horde is now is because of the major event decades ago, 
where Grimash drank the blood of the demon Manoroth, sealing him and his race's fate forever. However, Garrosh has traveled back, and with his help, Grimash has not only rejected the demon, but killed him too. The epic but short-lived battle against Manoroth is jaw-dropping, but the excitement is quickly changed to fear as the now new Iron Horde has found a new conquest in Azeroth. Number 4, Illidan's Story, World of Warcraft Legion. This is cheating a bit, but we couldn't ignore how fantastic Illidan's cinematics were in Legion. Following a series of quests, the origins of Illidan are revealed to us, giving players a better idea of what the Demon Hunter is truly like before we follow him into battle. Now, mortals, follow me. From there, we see more cinematics of him, from his striking down of Gul'dan with a poetic death to the rejection of Naru's gift of light and the finale of Sargeras, it's clear that Illidan has chosen his path long ago. We may never see him again, and the world of Azeroth owes him a debt of gratitude. Boldly said. Number 3, The Burning Crusade intro. World of Warcraft, The Burning Crusade. You dare enter my realm. Three years after the MMO giant debuted, we were treated to our first expansion. So, of course, we need an awesome cinematic with it, too. The Burning Crusade intro showed all of the features the expansion would bring, from the alien Draenei to the mana-hungry Blood Elves, all while keeping in mind the balance between charming lightheartedness and dark, foreboding atmosphere, leading up to the reveal of the Demon Hunter himself, Illidan Stormrage. Needless to say, fans' reactions were… well, you know what, we'll let Illidan explain. You are not prepared! Number 2, Wrath of the Lich King intro. World of Warcraft, Wrath of the Lich King. It had been a long time since we last heard of Prince Arthas, who took the Scourge for his own before disappearing into Northrend. Now he's reawakened, and with him this killer cinematic, to show off what he has in store for the denizens of Azeroth. This was the first cinematic to toss aside the charming nature and focus solely on the darker aspects of the series. And with massive armies of icy undead at the Lich's command, players knew they had to stop him once and for all, and it wouldn't be easy. Plus, the thought of our characters going up against the legendary Arthas got everyone hyped up. You shall be king. Before we take a look at our number one cinematic, let's have a quick look at some honorable mentions. Traitor! Boldly stated. But there is nothing you can. Number one, Arthas's betrayal. Warcraft three: Reign of Chaos. Who else but Arthas? By now, we all know the tragic story of Prince Arthas and how his sense of justice became corrupted over time before eventually becoming the Lich King. But before jumping ahead too far, it was this cinematic that truly cemented his inner dark side. I've taken care of everything. Hailed as a hero by the citizens of Lordaeron after his campaign of war, he returns to his father, who he held so dear, kneeling before him one last time before striking the final blow. It was this act that not only shook Lordaeron, but Azeroth itself, and soon the scourge would rise and spread. This kingdom shall fall. From the ashes shall arise a new order. Do you agree with our pick?